Alright, what's up guys? Start of making an Android tutorial. So this is based on the compiling and compiling system APK is directly pulled out from your phone. So for this, what you need is a rooted phone. Um, you need to enable USB debugging in your phone and then you need this software called the APK Multitool. So I've given the link for it and the download link for it in the description below. Do download it, you'll get a zip file. When you extract it, you'll have something like this. So taking a look at the side, you'll have these many folders and files. Now you also need ADB set up in your Windows. So if you don't know how to set this up, the video link for this is also given in the description below. Do check that out. Once that's done, get back to this video. So after setting up ADB, why ADB? We're going to be pulling out APKs using the ADB only. And then uh, this is optional. You also need a ROM that you're currently using. Right now I'm on Cyanogen Mod 11. So, so if you don't know where the files inside your system is then you can refer to these ROMs because the directory in your ROMs is the same where it's inside your phone. So right now we need two main files framework press apk and system ui dot apk so we're going to be pulling both of them from the phone so get to the adb folder wherever you have placed it now make sure the device is connected in the white space over here hold shift and open command window here now hit the command adb devices to check if the device is connected to your pc or not if it asks for any authorization request authorize it and then you are good to pull out apks now you, did, you need to know where the framework apk and system apk are placed inside your phone for that you take the help of the zip file the rom zips so it's inside system folder and then first let's pull out framework so it's inside framework folder scrolling down we have framework with apk folder i mean the files over here so we're going to be typing the same directory over here adp code slash system slash framework folder which we just saw slash framework address.apk so this is the directory and then the apk name hit enter and the apk is pulled out from the phone don't panic this is just a copy of the app that's inside your phone so the phone is totally safe and then we're going to be pulling out the system view apk if you have two folders called app and private app then check inside app if you have the system UI apk or not if not then it will be inside private app dot so inside private app we have systemui.apk you must know the directory like i said system private app and then systemui.apk so we type in adp pull again slash system slash private app this time slash make sure that the caps are on caps and the small letters are on small letters because this is case sensitive the commands are case sensitive then we hit enter it pulls it out also make sure that you make no spelling mistake errors right once these both are pulled let's minimize the adp folder and get back to the apk multi-tool folder let's set up this workbench for decompiling now what we need to do is all right let's go to the adp folder copy both of them then get to the apk multi-tool folder which you just extracted and then get to the other folder and then paste them both over here once that's done double click setup.bat so you'll be seeing something like that now make sure that you also have the latest version of java installed in your pc no matter it's 32 bit or 64 bit and then first we're going to be setting up directories so we hit 3 and enter so you'll see a few extra folders out there this is the workbench where we'll be decompiling and compiling these APKs. Now we hit 
number two for installing the app which we just placed inside other folder. So we have placed framework recipe there, we have number one. Alright, once it's done, we have also placed system UI PK, so we hit number 4, and that's done. Alright, so you'll be wondering what is TW Framework Web APK and COM HTC Resources APK. So, in my phone, there is no such files. Now, you'll find TW Framework Web APK within the Framework folder in Samsung device especially, and in the same way, you will find com.htcresources.apk in HTC devices. So you need both of them for both of the devices if you are specially decompiling the APKs for that particular device. And once this is done, you can quit this one and then open script.bat. Alright, so we have a whole lot of options which you can play around with your APK. Right now, I'll be taking the example of the system UI APK itself. So I'm going to be pasting that inside place APK here for modding folder. So we have placed it. And right now, I'll be decompiling system UI APK. So what we're going to be doing is select the app which you want to decompile first. So we have number 24 and whichever app you want to decompile. So it's number 2, system UI APK, we have number 2 and it's selected over here. Now number 9 is for decompiling APK. Page number 9 and there we go. It takes time depending on your system so wait with patience. Alright, so we have successfully decompiled system UI.apk. Now you can either minimize it or close it. Now inside projects folder we have the decompiled system UI APK. So it will be in folders and files. So this is how a decompiled app looks like. So then you can make changes to whatever you want. Now, for example, just consider that I've made changes inside the drawable folder. So I've made changes to these files. Just imagine like that. And then I have made changes to the images inside the drawable no DPI folder. So you need to remember the folders which you made changes to that's actually really really important now once your changes are done make sure what you are doing you know what you're doing if not it's difficult to compile back because if there are errors in what you did then the apk will not compile although you will get a log of errors from which you can rectify and compile the APK back but that's a lot of headache and you wouldn't want that now like I said I will remember the drawable folder and drawable no DPI folder and we'll get back we'll get back get back all right so we are going to be compiling the APK back again now we hit number 11 for compiling the APK and enter so it says building APK Alright, so if you have no errors committed in your modding and theming or playing around with your decompiled sources of the APK, you will get this one. So this message says that there is no errors in your APK and ready to be compiled back. So we have hit Y and then enter. Alright, at this stage it says press any key to continue. We don't press any key. Do not press any key, just minimize it. There will be a new folder named keep created. Get inside it. Alright, over here. Like I said, you must have remembered the folders with in which you made changes. So inside rest, as I told, I remember drawable folder and drawable no DPI folder. So um, I just imagine that I made changes to both of these folders so we're going to be deleting that folder. Now you, the main concept is that you delete the folder which you made changes inside and then get back. Also remember to delete resources.arc get 
back and now you're ready to compile it back. Now hit any key you want. Alright, so everything is okay. If everything goes fine, inside Space APK here for modding, you'll find something called unsigned system UI dot APK. Now basically you can sign it by hitting number 313. Else you can just leave it just like that. So the unsigned APK turned into signed system UI dot APK. Now you can either rename it the system UI APK and then push it to your phone using the ADB command, the same directory followed by ADB push, or you can place it in any zip file and flash it to your phone. So you'll get the new APK which you just modded and themed on your own. So that was pretty much it about decompiling and compiling the APKs on your own. And if you liked it, leave a thumbs up to watch more such tutorials, reviews and much much more stuff coming up soon do subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one